Today, I'll be showing you how to make the easiest homemade sheet pan pizza. This pizza has a nice crunchy crust without the need for a pizza stone and is guaranteed to be a family favorite. All you really need is some yeast, pantry staples, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and toppings of choice to make this. Welcome back, my name is Daniel here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Now let's get started on this homemade sheet pan pizza. Start by measuring out 3 quarters of a cup of lukewarm water and stir in 2 teaspoons of white sugar to dissolve. Make sure the water is not too hot or it will kill the yeast. Add in 1 teaspoon of instant or active dry yeast and stir it into the sugar water. The sugar acts as food for the yeast and this step is to make sure the yeast is alive and will make our pizza dough rise later. Set this aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. To a large bowl, add 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of table salt, and 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Stir this all together until it is combined. The salt and oil will give the crust flavor, and you can also add in any dried herbs if you desire at this point as well. Feel free to use double zero flour for an even crispier crust. Our yeast should have activated by now, and you know it's alive if you see some foaming at the top and some bubbles forming throughout the mixture. Pour the yeast water mixture into the flour, and begin to combine everything together with a wooden spoon. Remember to scrape down the sides of the bowl as well. Eventually, it will come together into a dough, and at that stage, use your hands to begin kneading it. This is quite a high hydration dough, so it will be very sticky at the start. Don't be afraid, just keep kneading it in the bowl, or you can also use both hands to knead it on a clean surface if you wish. What I like to sometimes do is to pick the dough up and throw it into the bowl like you see here. It helps with managing the stickiness a bit. Knead it for about 8 minutes or so, allowing the gluten to develop, and eventually it will spring back when you poke it and be less sticky. You can also use your non-kneading hand and push it into the dough. If it doesn't stick, you're good to go. Add some oil to the dough to coat it. Then oil the bowl as well. This will help with releasing the dough after the rise. Use the oiled dough to coat the bowl and just roll and wrap the dough in on itself a few times to make a nice shiny ball. Again, give it a poke, it should spring back fairly quickly. Now cover this and let it rest to rise for at least an hour in a warm area or in the fridge overnight, which is what I did. While you wait, get half a cup of tomato sauce and add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of dehydrated onion, one teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of dried basil, and two teaspoons of grated Parmesan cheese. Fresh is always better here, but I only have powder so I use that instead. Give this a quick stir and there you have your super easy pizza sauce ready to go. You can use whatever tomato sauce you wish for the base and season it to taste. Now shred one and a half to two cups of mozzarella cheese. That's between six to eight ounces. How much you use will depend on how much cheese you want on your pizza and how large you're making your pizza. The more surface area, the more cheese you will need. Next, have all the toppings you want to use prepared and in front of you before you assemble the pizza. Meats should be cooked, most veggies can be raw. Bring back the dough which should have at least doubled in size by now. If you stored it in the fridge, let it come to room temperature first. Pour some oil onto a large baking sheet and spread it around with your hands, making sure the sides of the sheet are also oiled. This will help in getting that crispier crust. Keep in mind the larger the sheet, the thinner the crust will be. Preheat the oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, punch down the dough and place it onto the baking sheet. Using your fingers, start to spread the dough out as best you can to your desired size. If you find the dough is resisting, let it sit for 5 minutes to relax and you can continue the process of pushing it out. If desired, make a border for a thicker crust on the edges of the pan. Drizzle a little olive oil on top of the dough and spread it all over. In addition to flavor, this will act as a barrier to prevent the pizza sauce from making the crust soggy. Dollop the pizza sauce over the dough and using the back of a spoon, spread it all over the dough. 
Don't be tempted to put too much sauce here. Half a cup is plenty. Next, add all the shredded mozzarella cheese, evenly distributing it over the sauce like so. Add your toppings of choice. Today I'm using pepperoni, salami, bacon that's already been cooked, and green bell peppers. Now it's ready to bake. Bake the pizza at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for between 15 to 20 minutes on the bottom rack. The longer it bakes, the crispier the crust will get. I have done this at 450 degrees Fahrenheit before, and it yields delicious pizza as well, just with a softer crust. When the cheese is all melted and bubbly with your desired crispiness of the crust, the pizza is done. Remove it from the oven and let it cool for a couple minutes before slicing. And there you have it, easy and delicious homemade pizza that you can make to everyone's liking. You'll definitely want to try this one out. No pizza pan or pizza stone is needed, and look how crispy it gets in the bottom. I hope you enjoy! Alright guys, it's time for the taste test. Now I already know this is going to be good because, I mean, come on, it's pizza. There's no way it's not going to be good. But I showed you earlier how crispy the crust is, so you don't need a pizza stone or a pizza pan to make crispy homemade pizza at home. Mm, my mouth is watering right now. Let's go for the first bite. Mm. Mm. It's pizza, man. It's gotta be good. It's so good. Mm. I mean, I gotta take another bite. You got cheese ball. Mm. As you know, it's pizza, so you can use whatever toppings you like. I used a combination of pepperoni and salami, and some green peppers today, but make sure you have the cheese. For me, it's not really pizza if it doesn't have cheese or enough cheese on it, so it definitely needs a lot of cheese. So I've showed you how easy it is to make homemade pizza with the crispy crust at home. All you need is a baking sheet, and it's so easy. Let me just take a bite of the crust to show you how crunchy it is, all right? Just listen to this. You hear that? It's crunchy. The key to this is baking it on a bottom rack on high heat uh, for between 15 to 20 minutes. You're gonna absolutely love this one. I mean, there's no way it can go wrong. It's just absolutely incredible easiest homemade cheap pan pizza. You can make a pizza dough ahead of time. You can also freeze it. You can leave it in the fridge for a few days or you can make it the same day and it doesn't really take that much time. You can use whatever other ingredients you have in your fridge. Like I just put bacon on here because I had some leftover bacon but you can do whatever you want. That's the beauty of pizza. I'm so excited for you guys to try this. This is so delicious. Your friends and family are gonna absolutely rave about this one. They're gonna love it, and I'm sure so will you. And after making this recipe, there's gonna be no reason why you ever need to order in pizza again. And as always, if you like this recipe, remember to give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what kind of toppings you like to put onto your pizza. And remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time, bye everyone.